Try to kill me. I didn't know such things. She's like, the, the merchant's gone. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, she is. That is too late. That was your last time to buy something, I think. Ooh. That's up. Wait, hold on. Look. Mm. I think the only place you haven't been is the library. Yep. Yeah. I think she's gone because it's nighttime. Oh, maybe. What the <laughs> oh, fuck? God. <laughs> you couldn't draw it? What happened? That day you spent some time on the library's PC mining oh. some bitcoins. Cool. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guys don't know actually has any fucking idea how it really works. I don't. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to two million dollars. Which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so plus two money. I want more. Well, too bad. Your mind's barely on what you're doing, though. All you're really concerned about is your situation with Bear, though. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> My god. Throughout her latest gang war, you've been her closest and most trusted advisor. Maybe too close. Mm. You're worried Bear has become so dependent on your advice, she's blind to your true romantic intentions. I know I don't need. I was trying to buy her that last second. If only you had the courage to tell her how you really feel. After all, you don't want to end up in the advisor zone. That that does look like a sucky ass. <laughs> You're so lost in thoughts of unrequited love, you hardly notice we are sneaking up on you. <clears throat> Maybe that's also because of the invisibility cloak you helped her pick out. There you are. I was just gonna pick you up. We've got a date tonight. Huh? A date? Then perhaps your affections aren't unrequited. With the heads of Monster City's major crime factions, celebrate the end of the latest game war. Yeah. You're such a good and loyal advisor, I couldn't imagine going without you. Right, of course. Trying to hide your disappointment, you accompany here to the peace conference. But soon. Peace? Yeah. You can have horse racing, but if you think I'm giving up murder's monopoly, you've got your head so far up your ass it's popped out of your shirt collar. <laughs> Larry the actual crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps his fangs. Gunbozo Gianetti, our boy of the deranged oh clown assembly, honks in disapproval. Timmy's a knife baby, chews his rattle menacingly. What the fuck? Alright, you scumbag, settle down. Uh, I think Patches is gonna go for it. Patches, you better fucking not, or I'm gonna whip your ass so fucking hard. This pile is much bigger than I remember. And it's gonna stay that way. Damn it! But it's too late. Larry the Croc unveils a wicked machine gun. Gunbozo makes a rocket launcher out of twisted balloons. And Timmy the Knife Baby produces a lot of knives. Dio? Oh, it's Dio. Hey, advisor, a little help here. Um, hey, Ryman. If you don't save Vera now, you'll never have a chance to confess your feelings. So you take a deep breath and... Break dance. I love you. Feelings, kiss Larry the Croc on his big crocodile mouth. Oh, shit, no. Gosh. This... Is this can make or break your monster? Uh, it kind of can. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to go first anymore. Think about it like this: if you mess up, that Kwan could probably get her. Ooh, my Kwan. <laughs> True, I can. Fuck. Cause he's been getting stuff with her too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you don't have to worry about me. I'm gonna make a good child. Right or was she? She, she was. She just came okay. You should let Tam choose for you. She's Tam. in the bathroom. God damn it. Tam one or two? Which is what? One and two. Oh okay. god. <laughs> oh lord. The Undertaker's here. With Tam one or two? Two. two. Oh no! Oh yes! She looks disgusted. Fuck it, if you're not gonna get with fear, you might as well get it on with Ficky Crocodile, dude. You lock lips. What? what? What are you doing? Are you trying to beat bite his teeth off? Or are you. Oh shit, his breath! Oh, oh wow. Larry the Croc is even more surprised than Vera. He and the other crime lords drop their weapons in amazement. Do you Vera the perfect opportunity to shoot them all with her own. Like, Akimba Uzis. Haha, ah, love conquers all, suckers! Now I have the blood of crocodiles alive off of here. I'm taking you out to dinner. Yay! No, don't blush. I know you're just trying to make me jealous by making out with that dangerous crime at the time. But well, you know what? It totally worked. If Vera has a new face, 
cop has a new pain of crime. She's you're saving all that. Anything is possible. She Eat ass. She plastic surgery to cover up the crock bites. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Oh, what are you gonna do now? Because no fucking cry. Me. After tonight at dinner. <laughs> oh fucking my god. Cry. <laughs> uh, editor, throw up a picture of two scissors, please. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go to the gym. I do shit else. That day an every Donald match takes place. Oh my god, you got this! Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, But the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and make out one of your teammates. Hey. What? What is that? What? What? That's is that the fucking it's the fruit loose? Uh. Put it down! <laughs> Here, just take it. Damn, you know how to win over people's really? hearts. Yes. Oh my god, my heart like one! <laughs> Thank you, Vera. He hit me in the fucking chest with a ball. <laughs> you see Vera looking at her phone. She's obviously pissed, so you decide to go talk to her. Look. Ooh. <sighs> Not another dick pick. It's from my like one. <laughs> Please I give me one more I chance. That's what you got to expect when you look as stunning as I do all the time, but still, not fine of dick pics. Send not me, at all. Send one back. Yeah. When are guys gonna learn? Dicks look gross. Sending me a picture of your dick is not a treat for me. I'm not gonna frame it and put it on my wall. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in a folder called Sad Losers and then delete the folder. And I'll probably set the phone on fire just in case. Damn. Okay. Hey, Thank you're pretty you. unpleasant, right? Help me figure out what to say to this guy so stop trying to make me look like it's weird. Go for the burn. Sorry, but I'm having a hard time seeing anything. Does your phone have a zoom function? Are they a microscope attachment? Destroy his life. <laughs> Photoshop all the pics to a silly looking monster, make it the star of a weird kid's show, and make millions with it. You make a joke out of him, become rich, and only cope with copyrights to his dick. That sounds funny. I'm gonna go with that one. So your solution to this is for me to make a career out of it. Yeah, true. You do realize you're basically making it all so I have to spend the rest of my life depending on this fool's dick. Sounds funny. And if I get lucky and he doesn't see me anymore, I need to start asking for him. I would be financially married to this dude's dick. Does that sound good to you, genius? A little bit. Good guy. Be my guest and go marry his dick yourself. You know what, friend? Listen. You, you shut your whole chance. You shut your whole mouth. Huh, that definitely backfired. Next time, let's try not to mix dicks and kids. It doesn't seem like a smart move. You lose, you lose minus two for and minus one creativity. Yeah, that is. Um, sure. Bullshit. I don't think I've been outdoors yet. Hey! <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> what a power alien mean? <laughs> that day during recess, I'm starting a half hour rave that goes full crazy. What do we do? Everything is fine until oh, one small magic person asks you what you think you're doing. Dang, you didn't remember, you suck at dancing. Fuck you, I don't. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> at it again. Uh, you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Mosca. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Mosca. In no time, half the party is following your steps and joining the Groovy Mosca altogether. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Are My stats see? are pretty good, mm -hmm. except for Charm. Charm down there. So look, look at the cat. I didn't even notice it. Patches, <laughs> what are you doing to you? Patches, throw a picture of Patches right where that cat is. <laughs> you open up your locker and a cloud of gas knocks you out. You come your senses plumbing towards Earth, rapidly approaching terminal velocity. You fall in the school's backyard and in the hands of Miranda's biggest goons. Your classmates don't give a fuck. <laughs> it didn't work. None of them even noticed your glorious form. People are so used to spectacle at this school. This slow ascension is tiresome. I need a glamorous act, a grand gesture to secure my phone. Can you think of something while I flail my salmon? And we're talking, we bring war. A little line in your eyes will the sun and the atrocities your family committed. Uh, she's from Pokemon. She's the one who oh, uh, was originally from Emerald. She was the leader of the Battle Tower, but then she falls in the ocean and just barely washes up with the use of the Lola to tell the police with Loki to hunt what she uses. Me not, me not, me not. She's cool. And you go. Oh! And you go. She doesn't have Emerald stuff. Oh, yes, yeah, she did. She has an Asian. No, 
she doesn't. Yeah, she does. Okay. No, yeah, she doesn't. She, you don't know. It's something new with your dad. I'm not talking about that. Oh, please, please. No, don't talk about that. I'm just saying. There's nothing alone. I'm just saying. Purple hair and that. Oh, boy. I will build a monument, honey. Oh. Ooh. Here. Atrocities! Uh-oh. Why? Why would you say that? We never did anything bad. Only what's necessary. I thought you understood that. I thought we put the peasants down together. Oh, I shouldn't even be here. My mom wants me to come home by five to violently suppress the rebellion. Miranda walks sadly towards the sea when an amphibious tank awaits. How insensitive of you. You lose two charm and one smart. I have one charm. <laughs> the monster prom draws near. Oh, fuck. Who will you ask to prom? Will you ask yourself? What a fuck? Oh, none of them. Alright, let's see. <laughs> we can ask the problem. You can also ask her the problem. Uh, yeah, I can, huh? Fuck it, I'll do it. Why not? Hey there. After my, uh, my previous downfall, I, I hope it'll work out. <laughs> Just kidding. Show me with my kick. <laughs> Sorry. 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 I actually like this outfit for you. It's cute. Alright, here we go. Let's see how that one gets. Feels cool. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. It's you. Oh, sorry. Damn, you're I fucked that up. asking me to go to prom with you? Ooh. That doesn't sound good. What a shortcut to Lane Town. Reopening a MySpace account would be less harmful to my popularity than dating you. I think I just puked in my mouth. Who needs prom? You focused on your career goal of becoming a renowned surgeon. You studied hard and passed all the tests. Unfortunately, no hospital wanted to hire you because it turns out that going to prom with a cool date is an essential requirement. Oh my god. Resume. And so you never get a job, and in the end, you became homeless. Don't even dare to think a monster prom isn't important. Um, sure. Uh oh. Is that me? No, that's no. me. Oh. I'm so scared. Uh, I have a problem. Yeah. Kira. Hang on, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing that. I got you, hang on. Ew, that's, dis <laughs> that's disgusting! I'm sorry, I'm seeing someone. No! Like, right now. Hey, you, peasant! Miranda just waving her hand at the distracted passerby. I order you to rescue me from this awkward situation. See? I know him. Farewell! <laughs> Your failure made you so despised by society that you were exiled to the wilds where you joined a pack of wolves. Hey. Still, you were so bad at social interaction that you also failed at getting a date for a wolf farm. Oh, oh. Alright, Kira. Hang on, hang on. It's your turn. Prom? Hey, 9 out of 10. Pro oh, that's you. You know what, my dear advisor? I think lately I've wasting up too much on all our crime adventures. It's nice to be rich and feared, but what's the point if I don't even enjoy life from time to time? So I have a feeling prom night could be a great way to unlock. What do you advise me to do? And then she she winks at you. That's so rare that we don't even have art of her doing it. Also because she has her eye covered. In the end, you and Vera have a lovely evening together. Followed by lots of thrilling crime adventures. Vera starts falling for you. She values how you respect her individuality and even support her career by being her trusted advisor. The two of you do a great job of struggling to being partners in both love and crime, mostly because Vera's great at everything she does. Or so she reminds you constantly. Also, she reminds you that the two of you may be partners in love and in crime, you're still superior and advisor. But that's Vera for you. And in all that ferocious confidence, you can also perceive a deep respect for you. So beautiful. Crime is always the answer. Alright. There's a thousand and seventy 
1,472 fucking outcomes. And 411 events, 32 endings. Okay, I thought that was the actual one. One new secret ending. Most oh, likely to be a sleeper agent just waiting for the code word. You will hear from my lawyers. I'm sad. Alright. Ah! I am a disappointee. I don't fool. Shut your I told you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's my, it's my power! You stay scissoring, we the power! Oh no! Please! Oh my god, don't fucking viciously scissor in Nakalon's ear! <laughs> so what the fuck does our thingies do? What the fuck is the point of buying shit if we can't use it? You How can't do we get out of here? In How certain situations. Oh! But you just bought a tampon. Yeah, you bought a tampon. Home you know, for some reason, increase his smart by like ten or some shit. You know, for some reason, I bought it because I was like, the the bitch that's trying to be prom will probably use this, and I never fucking ran into it. Doesn't just you're getting it for stats, dude. Come on, you're not gonna it. give it to people. Shut up. It makes sense to me. Well, oh, that's I, not what I want. That's it. I mean, unless there's something else. What? What? Uh, what? What? You know? what, what, what? It's the picture. Oh. Who the fuck? I would have went after. There's like four characters here that we don't know. I would have went after the chick with the glasses. Never mind. There's five characters here we don't fucking know. I don't know. Five. Yeah. That dude you like is here. The blob guy. Yeah, you is know that him. him. Yeah. yeah, you know him. Oh a... boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the fifth uh, one? Oh, the blob here. There's blob. There's white hair with sunglasses. Two uh, witches maybe, and some. Thing. <laughs> the purple shit. Yeah, why are your eyes like that? Those three we fuck you. I thought you read it already. I'm After sorry. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Vera built the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also in lots of sketchy businesses. But no one does say anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? Miranda used her vast knowledge of serfs to get a job handpicking the best serfs for other people. Now surprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do work. Liam, I don't give a fuck. Damn. <laughs> Is Liam? <laughs> yeah, okay. has no songs at all. That one was actually just a banana set on fire. <laughs> oh. And be sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't give it. Oh, you're a fucking god, I'm a fucking get you. <laughs> Those are the the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that way. Wait, I think it says like the outcome of the three people who you have the best a relationship with. Oh. One, two, so, three, four, five, the cure was, six. was so six Vera. Yeah, I had Miranda, and I guess the best relationship you had was with fucking Liam. That's fucking stupid. I had never talked to this bastard. No, whenever, like, whenever you were trying to talk to Vera, he was there. Yeah, he was there. Oh. You connected more with him. Oh, it's fucking not here. That cock. Ew. Yeah, kiss me. I don't think I would. The, the Frankenstein chick just kind of blends into the background. She really does. I mean, I want to play it as her. Yeah. Oh, she's a player with Kira. Yeah, she was one of the players. Oh! oh yeah, it was the it's zombie, fire, shadow, and Frankenstein monster. You're right. We're all in the middle. You're right. You're right. Next up, blue. I'm gonna call him blue. Blue. And I'm afraid, and we are ready to start. Away! Yay! Farts. I saw that shit. Cool. All right. I like Arthur. This is a fun guy. <laughs> Look, it's Slenderman! What a- <laughs> You're playing pool! You can't use that! It's the headless horseman. He's got a little mustache. Angles. Look, it's the girl I was supposed to be with! Yeah, she ain't more Yu-Gi-Gi. Fuck you! Same thing happened to you, pussy! Yeah, dude. Shut the hell up! I got what you're saying! Me? Actually, I feel like Yoko's a little worse, because she kind of just pulled some rando. <laughs> yeah. But what's worse, her pulling a rando, or her pulling the person who's right next to me? She didn't, well... Oh yeah, yes, thing, right? Yes, she did. <laughs> hey, that's fine. So sorry, I'm going on a date. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wish I was reading who was in there. I won't. Okay. Oh, DJ Cutman. Hi, man. Oh, man. He's an orgy planner? 
Okay. So. No special thing for anybody I know? Nope. I was trying to see what um, Nate wants to battle up here. Oh. How did he do any? What? He voiced, I thought he voiced the demon. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Because it does sound like Nate. Me, 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 me. Not that guy. That's, that's a different guy. <laughs> Alright, that was cool. Look, it's you! Alright. Me, 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 Bastard. I'm locked. You just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. This is about to get weird. So. Alright. Oh. You have unlocked two new images in the gallery. Oh, cool. Y'all wanna, wanna, wanna check out the gallery? Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Whoa. Alright, fucking sick. What, Sweet. What, oh, what ending did we get? Uh, I'm trying to see. Hang on. Oh. We got two um, bad endings. Yeah. Damn, fucking. That's not <laughs> yeah. me. That's not you at all. I guess they were supposed to oh, end wait, up together. Huh? Go to variation. There, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up, bitch! <laughs> okay, they all look. <laughs> wait, no. Let me out, damn it. There you go. There's me. I actually like that. Then my girlfriend. Forward? <laughs> Forward? Oh, it's the end credits. Oh. They're cute. Yeah, they're pretty good. More art. This is just like the backgrounds and the different stuff. Oh. Fan art? People really like this character. Apparently. Maybe you win it because you actually got with her. Mmm. That makes sense. Me, 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 no, me, 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 me. Monsters. <laughs> Monster sonas. Get out of here, dude. Really? Oh, I like, I like I mean, this. might have been like a Kickstarter thing. No, oh, probably. Which one? This one? That kind of, that, that guy kind of looks like that one dude from My Hero and a monkey. Yeah. Uh, Endeavor? Yep. Yeah. I kind of like it. In I'm kind of with the more original design. <laughs> His mom. Dude's hairy here. Well, blue. Oh, because his arms. Yeah, he has arms. I kind of like the guy beside him. Yeah. So really nice. Alright, this was... This was... An it's interesting endeavor. Good. Will we do this again, though? Are we willing to do this again tomorrow? I'll do it again. Yes. Alright. Well, How short is the short? We can uh, see. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we just played the... Well, yeah, we played a long game. Uh, Did anyone uh, play with us this time? 